Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm packing to go to Hogwarts. So I have my trunk here and I love my trunk. My mom made it for me. Um, it has these like French pages on the outside and no, I don't speak French, but I like French. And my room is Paris themed and on the inside it's also got fabric with French on it. So it makes me really happy when I go to school to have this like it's fancy but it's still practical so I love it so I'm basically going to be showing you guys what I'm bringing and just how I pack in general so I'm going back to Hogwarts for the sixth time I'm in my sixth year and I do go to Hogwarts although I'm American I kind of have special circumstances for that I'm going to tell you guys about the stuff that I have to leave in England with my friends later after I'm done packing so yeah, I just want to show you guys, I got my sixth year letter here. We are excited to welcome you back to Hogwarts for another year. The items below must be obtained by September 1st, 2021 before you return to school. Please ensure that the utmost attention be made to the list of required items below. And then it has a bunch of textbooks that we need and traditional supplies such as three sets of house robes, one plain pointed black hat for day wear, one pair of protective gloves, Dragon hide or similar, one winter cloak. Um, please note that all students' clothes should carry name tags. We look forward to receiving you once again as part of Hogwarts Heritage. Sincerely, M. McGonagall. So I'm going to start with the bigger items that fit at the bottom of my trunk and then work up and hopefully I have enough room for stuff. Um, if I don't, then I'm going to have to like go through my clothes and kind of weed out what I don't actually need but I just want to bring. So yeah, I'm gonna get started. I have this pile of books that I'm gonna be bringing. Um, well, books and notebooks and such. So I'm gonna start with the biggest one. This is Magical Places. This is going in the bottom. It's very heavy. This is gonna be incredibly heavy trunk. Then I have A History of Magic and Hogwarts Library, so this is Tales of Beetle the Bard, Quidditch Through the Ages, and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, just for reading around the school, just for fun. Then I have three notebooks, although I'm sure I will need more, um, and then I have a planner. I just don't want to bring too many because I don't want to fill up my stuff just with, like, notebooks. So, next gonna throw in my shoes so for shoes right now I have some flats and a pair of black Converse um, I feel like I might need more shoes eventually but this is what I'm gonna start out with because I don't think I can fit anything else in my trunk I think both of these will be good enough for what I need them for I also have my toiletries and a little caboodle so here it's just like makeup toothbrush toothpaste all that kind of stuff and I like that it's hard sided and has a handle it all fits nicely in here okay then I also have some maple syrup because I like to bring gifts back to my friends and this stuff is made in New England so I like to bring them like a little token of my area in the US and we always love to have pancakes at breakfast and we have some nice um, maple syrup to share when I bring it. So this is one of my favorite things. I always love that I bring gifts from here. So this is going over here. Fits perfectly. Wonderful. So I also have my hat and I don't want to squish it so I might actually wear this on the plane which might be a little weird but I'm gonna leave this out for now because I don't think it'll fit and I don't want to squish it either. I don't think that would be very kind to it. So I think the next thing I have to do is actually put my robes in. So I'm going to grab those and show you guys what robes I'm bringing. So here I have all of my robes, um, the ones that I have currently. I do need to purchase one more set of robes um, because I don't have three pairs of house robes, which is what is suggested. I only have two at the moment. So I'm going to need to order some more once I get back to school. So first I have my Quidditch robes here. I can find the top of them. These have all been just like folded up. So here we go. Here are my Quidditch robes. And I'm gonna put these at the bottom because I won't need them for a bit longer than the other stuff. Although I will be unpacking pretty soon after I get to school. The train leaves on September 1st at 11 a.m. from King's Cross. 
So I do have a few days um, before I need to leave, that's why I don't have completely everything together, but I have most of it, so here, Quidditch robes, and these are going to take up a lot of space, so I'm not really sure how much of my other stuff I'm going to be able to fit, to be honest, but we'll see. Okay, Quidditch robes, then I have, here's one pair of school robes here, and I'll show you the hood. This is my, like, signature hood in my school robes, so school robes number one. I'm trying to fold these nicely so they don't get too wrinkled. Okay, and here I have my school robes set up nicely. I thought that looked really pretty. So I'm going to have to dismantle this to show you guys kind of what I wear under my robes. So I'm just going to take the robes off from this setup here for now. So here's my other pair of school robes. These ones are a little bit um, of a different material, but I'm not sure which material I'm going to order for the next pair. Just like that and my trunk is like halfway full already so this is going to definitely be challenging but I want to go through um, some of my accessories that I bring along that kind of go with my school outfit so I have um, a few ties of course um, I have two at the moment but I think I have another one I'll have to go find it before I leave so I have this one which I'm just gonna I don't know fold it <laughs> also have this one on this setup um, I have a headband somewhere. So I'm not actually sure where my headband went. I just had it when I was picking out my robes, but I don't know where it went. So I'm going to find that later, I guess. Um, maybe I like rolled it into here. I don't feel like I could have though, although I did have a giant bundle of stuff. So who knows, it could just be already packed. Okay, I'm a little confused because I did actually just have my headband and now it's gone. So maybe I'll find that later, but my headband is just like, it looks exactly like a Gryffindor tie, but headband form. Um, I like to have that to pull my hair away when it is like extremely frizzy, which it does get, especially after I wash it. So here I have like generally what I would wear basically every day that I have classes. So I have this collar so that when it's too warm or like when I'm wearing my robes, it basically, I get pretty warm. So I have this so that I don't have to wear a full polo every single day. So I take the hanger out and I have this like stretchy, flowy gray dress. It's super comfortable, um, especially when I'm layering with the tie and the collar and then my robes. So I'm going to pack this in. That's probably the piece, this whole like, combination is the thing that I wear the most when I'm at school. I'm going to put my school letter down. Then I have my quill pen kit. I just got this um, a few days ago. This is a new kit. So it's got this like dark red quill and it also has a wax seal kit and candle and such. Some ink. So this is how I'm going to be sending letters to friends and family while I'm at school. I actually probably should have put this at the bottom now that I think about it because it's hard sided but it's a little bit too late for that. Okay that should work. Um, next I have my Dragon Hide gloves so these are great for when you're doing potions or when you're basically anything honestly herbology when you're working with mandrakes or in caramagical creatures when you're working with you know blasted scroots or any of those like creatures, anything you might get stung or bitten or burned by, these are great. So I'm going to pack these. Next I have my winter cloak. So this is actually my grandmother's um, and my mom's letting me borrow it for this year. So, Ugh. And it does have 
these silver buttons which are like kind of regulated by the school. Um, they do have a little bit of like rhinestone on them but fun and extra. It's got a hood and it's velvety and very heavy so I think this will keep me adequately warm while I am at school. I want to show you guys what it looks like when I put it on because it's super neat. I'm not going to like stand up or anything but it's got armholes in it if I can find the other one. And then it just goes up like that and it has a hood. So this will be great for like going to Hogsmeade or just whatever I'm doing in the winter outside of the school. I'm gonna fold it a little differently. Hopefully it'll not take up too much space. Okay, there goes like almost all of my trunk. So here's the rest of the stuff that I was planning on packing and I'm not sure if it's all going to fit. So I'm just gonna get started and then I'm gonna have to start pulling things out that actually won't fit in here. Um, yeah, at least clothes are squishy, but I'm not gonna have room to bring anything back for my family, like anything from Hogsmeade or whatever. So, first I have this little rod so that when I'm in the dormitory I can put my uh, trunk upright and then put this rod in and then I can hang stuff from it. So that's really helpful for keeping my clothes from being wrinkled. So it just like twists to get bigger and smaller. So I guess I'll just put that there. I also, so here's just like a bunch of clothes. I'm gonna start out, I have cards to play with friends whenever I'm in the dorm. I'm gonna just tuck those in the bottom. It's a great like rainy day activity or just whenever we have spare time. So, um, first I have just like a regular crop tank top. This is great for just hanging around the dormitory, common room, whatever, or wearing under a sweater or something. Um, it's nice and cool, but also I can like layer it to make it warmer, so I can sleep in it too. It's very versatile. I have a grey turtleneck here. This could be worn under my school robes, I guess. Um, I don't normally do that, but it's just nice to have like a warmer layer. So the grey one, and I also have an off-white one, which is one that I'm more likely to wear under my school robes. So here's my off-white turtleneck, which I'm going to pack right next to the gray one. And I also have just a regular polo shirt. Sometimes I'll wear this under my Quidditch robes or just under my regular robes if I don't want to wear my, um, my like gray dress. I can wear this and a tie instead with whatever bottoms. And if I was doing that, I might wear this skirt with it. So this is one of my favorite, like, staples for, um, my, like, school outfit. Next I have, um, a dress because who knows what fancy events might happen. Um, sometimes there are parties or balls, gatherings, whatever. So I have one dress. Um, it's not on the supply list for this year, but who knows, sometimes there are, like, gatherings that you don't think you need to dress up for but then it ends up being appropriate so here I have this it's like a dark red um it's a mini dress it's a little form-fitting it's pretty nice um like lacy but it's not too too fancy where I couldn't just like dress it down with um wearing a sweater over it or something like that I actually think I might be able to fit everything so that's awesome um next I have just a white plain athletic shirt. This is another thing that I could wear while playing Quidditch or just like around anywhere. I have the same shirt in black as well. Then I have platform nine and three quarters shirt because it just makes me so happy heading back to school. So of course I will not be wearing this until after I get to school because it might be a little weird for muggles to see me wearing this. That's why I'm packing away all of my like school merch and everything because it might be a little strange for me to be seen in like the general public with this. So I also have a pair of like sleep shorts or whatever just hanging around or under a dress, just generic black shorts, kind of um, a staple, something I wear a lot, a lot more than you would think. Next I have just a plain black pair of leggings. 
Um, again, another staple. These are great for Quidditch or Quidditch practice. Um, I can wear these under ropes if it's cooler. Um, basically anywhere I can wear those, so that's pretty nice. Then I have just these plaid sleeping pants um, if it's colder. I also have a pair of jeans. Um, there's not too many opportunities for dressing down, but I do like to bring one pair of jeans with me just in case. Next I have one of my Hogwarts sweatshirts, and then I have a just navy and white striped sweatshirt. Um, this one is something that I could wear over my dress or over my leggings or shorts or just whatever. And I was actually planning on bringing one or two more sweaters, but I thought they wouldn't fit. And I'm actually very surprised to see that all of my stuff is fitting in here. So that is wonderful. Um, I thought I was going to have to cut things out, but got lucky was able to squish it all in. Okay, so sweater, and then I might go pick out another one to throw in. I also have my film camera because, of course, um, muggle technology does not work in Hogwarts, so I have to bring a film camera instead of bringing like my regular camera, and um, I am bringing my phone just because I'm traveling before, but that's pretty useless once I step onto the platform, so I have my film camera and I might need to send away for some more film because I only have 25 shots left on this roll. My wand. Although I might want to keep this with me, I don't feel like I want it to be in my carry-on though when I'm going on the plane, so I might just put this in here for now. I mean, it's pretty useless to me right now because I'm underage just for a few more months. It's like two months and two weeks or so, something like that, and then I will be able to perform magic outside of school, which will be great, although I don't have too much of a use for it here, but someday I will. So now, hat. <laughs> I'm not going to squish it, I'll probably just wear it. Um, and I need to find my headband and just kind of go over the stuff that I leave with my friends when I come back overseas to go home. Um, here I have my carry-on. It's not completely packed yet, but I want to show you what I have so far. In this front pocket, I have a phone charger, um, although, again, that will be pretty useless very soon, and headphones. I don't even bother bringing my laptop or anything because it just, there's no need to take up that much space with something that's just going to sit there, and somebody might, you know, try to use it at school because a lot of people are fascinated by muggle technology. So I have a water bottle, and... A book for me to read while I'm on the plane. Um, it is an overnight flight, so I might just sleep. That's why I don't have very much stuff. Um, I'm going to need to pack food as well, but it's too early to pack that at this point. So that's something I'll do a little bit closer to when I'm leaving. But yeah, so I just need to go over the few things that I need to order or that I would leave. So um, I need to order all of my school textbooks, so let me read off what I need for sixth year. And this is NEWT year, so it's going to be rough. Um, that's why I have a planner um, along with my notebooks, because there's going to be so much stuff for me to keep track of. The Standard Book of Spells, Grade 6 by Miranda Goshawk, Advanced Potion Making by Lebaceous Boraj, Confronting the Faceless, A Guide to Advanced Transfiguration by Emmerich Switch, and flesh eating trees of the world, along with just all of the regular like stuff that I listed off before. So I need to order those. I think I might have a friend pick them up for me from Diagon Alley. Um, just like pick up my order, which would be very kind. I do, I do ask a lot of my friends with me not living even like on the same continent as the school. So uh, there are a few more things. I do need to buy another set of school robes, like I said. Um, also, I left my owl ember with one of my friends because I don't like bringing her on the plane overseas. It's just a lot for her, and I think she has a lot more fun um, being with my friend because she has so much space for them to fly around, um, and she has her own owl and her sister's owl, so they, they all just hang out. Um, so I 
do not bring my owl home over the summer. Um, it's only a few months, so I do feel bad leaving her there, but I think she's happier. Um, I also left my cauldron because I could not fit it. It's very heavy. It's just too much. It makes my trunk too heavy to be able to check it. So I will get that back before I head back to school. And I do need to get some money out of my vault at Gringotts. Uh, but other than that, I'm pretty sure that's everything that I need to, like, get before I head back. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention that I leave my fireball with my friend too. That's kind of a big thing that I cannot bring on the plane. Um, it just, it would not fit. So my fireball is back with the same friend that has Ember. So I will get both of those when we meet at the train platform. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I need to pack for like a whole school year at Hogwarts, but I hope I got everything because I spent a lot of time making a list because there were a few things that I forgot last year that I wanted to have this year and not have to like send away for them. So here it is. Here's everything that I pack at this point. I don't think I can find my headband. I'm sorry about that. I, it just disappeared out of thin air, like it disapparated. So not really sure about that. I'll find it eventually, hopefully before I head back to school. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed just like seeing everything, what it's like packing for Hogwarts. So yeah, make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye!